everybody. Today I read This Book is Out of Control by Richard Byrne. Wasn't this a silly book? Every time Ben pressed the remote control to get the fire truck started, his dog would do something silly like spin around. And I just happened to have a remote control here with me. I wonder what would happen if I pressed spin. What? Whoa! That was crazy! Well, I did press the spin button. What did I think was going to happen? Hmm, I wonder what would happen if I press this button. Whoa! This is so cool! Look at all these colors! But I wonder how I can get out of this. Hmm, let me try this one. Uh, okay, that... That didn't work. Um, uh, okay, let's see. How about, how about this one? Wow, that was so much fun. It's kind of like I coded myself. I pressed the buttons of what I wanted to do and then worked its magic inside and things happened. I wonder if I could do this with patterns. Do you know that you can code just using simple patterns? It's easy. Just find a friend or a family member who can either do it with you in person or on video chat. Okay, how about this? If I raise my hand, you have to spin. If I touch my nose, you have to jump. If I clap once, you have to jog. And if I clap twice, you have to thump your foot. Hmm, I need someone to help me out. <gasps> Miss Christy will. Let's give her a call. Okay, I'm calling her. <gasps> Hi, Miss Christy. Hi, Miss Jennifer. Miss Christy, do you want to play a fun pattern game with me? Yes. When I raise my hand, you're going to spin. When I touch my nose, Thanks for coding using these patterns with me, Miss Christie. Let's sing a song about what we just did. She's spinning, she's jumping, she's jogging, and she's thumping. I raise my hand, I touch my nose, I clap and we are coding. Do you think you could do something like that? Here, I'll show you another way. Draw the actions you want to do on a piece of paper. Make three to four of each so you can make them in a pattern. Stretch, balance, touch my toes. Stretch, balance, touch my toes. Here's another one you can do. This is an A-B pattern. Stretch, balance, stretch, balance, stretch, balance. Parents and caregivers, it's very important that your child knows the ins and outs of pattern making so that they can start coding. I'm going to show you what you can do at home. Create. Decompose. Extend. There are lots of coding games out there for kids. If you want to know more, email me at jllusk at gptx.org. That's it for now. See you next time. If you are looking for books to read with your child about patterns all around and coding for young children, check out The Spider Weaver, A Legend of Kente Cloth by Margaret Musgrove. I See a Pattern Here by Bruce Gladstone, and A Beginner's Guide to Coding by Mark Scott. And don't forget to check out our website for all fun summer programs. There is something for everyone at the Grand Prairie Libraries. Thanks for watching.